back to another review video. This one I put off so long to the point where even though I got this when it first came out, well, we are um, kind of approaching the expiration date like in two days. Let's do it. Anyway, this is the Soft Lips Hello Kitty Cube in Smart Apple, which as you know is the one I ironically was the most excited for. And yet here we are, like what, two, three years later and I'm just finally getting around to it. Yeah. So, um, this is how my procrastination works every friggin' time. So, uh, it expires in June of 2017. We are literally days away. However, I think it's still okay to use, just don't use it as a sunscreen, because generally when they have an expiration date and there's SPF in it, the expiration date is referring to the SPF. As long as you don't need that to work, ignore it. You can keep using it, it's totally okay. So anywho, let's get on with it. Um, well, before I destroy the packaging, I better look at the back real quick. Our advanced 501 formula provides a luxurious blend of lip perfecting ingredients fortified with premium moisturizers like shea butter, antioxidant, <laughs> antioxidant vitamins A, C, and E, plus SPF 15 to make lips feel smooth, soft, hydrated, and protected while adding a light touch of shine. Active ingredients are dimethicone 2%, and that was a skin protectant, and then the other two are sunscreens, octinoxate 7.5% and oxybenzone 3%. Anything else important? Keep this product from excessive heat and direct sun. No shit, Sherlock. Um, and yeah, I think that is about all that is particularly important here. So. We're gonna open it up, but first can we just talk about how cute she is in her little glasses? I friggin' love it. Love it. Come on. Out we come. Got it. It makes me very happy that she has the glasses on the actual cube so that I'm not losing anything in tossing this. Like with the peach one where the peach was part of the bow, but on the cube. Not so much. But yeah, so format-wise, it's just a little dome I will show you. Aren't they beautiful when they're brand new and they're all shiny still, even though you totally can't see the shiny slip feet. Does that help? There you yeah, go. They're so pretty. I love when they're brand new. Um, but yeah, so it's just a dome type. It feels a little bit wiggly on this one, not gonna lie. I'm a little uneased about that, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna pop into place by pushing down the corners, so... Whatever, hopefully it doesn't fall out. Um, but yeah, packaging-wise, it's just this little acrylic cube that it goes into that is always a pain in my ass to put back on. There we go. When you hear the click, you know it's on. But, um, yep, just a clear acrylic cube with Hello Kitty on one side. We've got a red base with soft lips on the bottom. And then you got your expiration date on the bottom and the active ingredients and shit. There you go. Um, this is not natural or organic. It is very much synthetic. It is petrolatum based. Uh, they were a limited edition, but I think they're still selling them, honestly. They made a big deal out of how limited edition these are, but I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon, if I'm being completely honest, so I wouldn't worry. Uh, they're very easy to find if you want one. The amount of product is 0.23 ounces, so just a hair under a quarter of an ounce, so just a little bit less than a Revo or an Eos. Price point on them, I seem to remember they were a little steep. I think they were like four or five bucks for these, some places. Sometimes you could find them on sale for three something, but yeah, they're a little pricey probably because of the packaging. Uh, most soft lips cubes are, I've noticed, but it's just what it is. Uh, the sturdiness, like I said, I'm not feeling too confident about how wiggly it is in the base there, plus, um, I mean, the outside part, it's it's pretty sturdy. You, <laughs> and my skin dropped one. But, um, yeah, it's nice hard plastic. Unless you gouge it with something, you don't really have to worry about it getting hurt. But putting the top back on correctly without gouging the balm is always the trick with these. Don't know why I find it so hard, but I always screw it up. Apparently it's not just me, so... Yeah, not a fan of that part, but it is what it is. So, only special features we talked about already. The SPF medication, so... The scent! It's a lot lighter than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, okay. 
can hold this point. Maybe it'll get stronger once I put it on, so let's try that. And I'm hoping it has a nice tingly effect like most soft lips cubes do. Oh yeah, that feels nice. I put lots of it on. Ooh, ooh, it tastes like apple. Though. Ooh. But yeah, the scent is kind of lacking. But the flavor makes up for it. The scent is just really light. I guess it kind of smells like apple. It's it's hard to even pick up what specifically it's supposed to be scent wise, which makes me a little sad. But um but the flavor though, it makes up for it in flavor, and there's not a whole hell of a lot of lip balms I can say that about, so props to them for that. That it's not just sweet, it's actually apple flavored. Yay. Um and it's it's got the tingly thing starting to go, so yay, I'm always a fan of that. Um as for the actual consistency, let's see, thickness-wise first, I would say, um, it's kind of borderline between thin and medium, but I think it's probably closer to the medium side of things. Um, but the actual consistency is both really creamy and oily at the same time. It's kind of like a loose creaminess, if that makes any kind of sense to anyone outside my own head. Um, it's very wet feeling, very moisturizing. I have really good luck with Soft Lips products doing a good job moisturizing, so I have no doubts in its ability there. Shine Factor, we've got a lot of shine going on. Always a perk in my book. Now, longevity-wise, that often is where they have a weak spot just in their formula, as far as I'm concerned. They don't stay on that well, especially when you do the drink test. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it thinned way out already. Well, that's a bit of a bummer, but it's kind of cool having the effect of apple coffee. <laughs> that's kind of a trip. But, yeah. It's still there, but it's very, very thin in the spot where the coffee was going over it, so. It is what it is. <laughs> so, just throwing that out there. Does not really hold up. By the time you'd finish a cup of coffee, it'd be gone, I have no doubt, so. Oh, my overall rating for this one, let's see. Packaging-wise, I don't feel confident in its sturdiness, just because how wiggly the base is, and just the, the usual issues with the lid. So that, there's a point. Um, shelf life was very short-lived on these, because it, I mean... Copyright date on this is 2015. For it to expire in 2017, that's that's very short-lived. Even though I know they're talking about the SPF, not the balm itself, but still just... They could have tried a little harder to extend that date a bit, but um, it is what it is, but that's still another point against it. They're a bit on the pricey side for what they are. Um, I wish it had more scent than it does. So there's a point. Which makes me sad, but um, it doesn't hold up to the drink test. I really kind of hate that I have to dock this one as much as I do, but for the sake of being fair, with those points against it, that's 5 out of 10. I thought I was going to rate this one almost the highest ever. I mean, aside from like the peach mango, that obviously tops everything with the soft lips cubes for me, but that's such a bummer though. I really was hoping this would have a stronger scent than it does, but it just doesn't. What can you do? But yeah, so 5 out of 10, this one. I mean, if you care more about flavor than scent, I would say go for it. But if you're looking for an actual heavy apple scent, you won't find it here. So, but I mean, it's Hello Kitty and it's really freaking adorable. So if you're like me and you're a sucker for cute packaging, it might still be worth it to you just for that, which it is to me. It's just really cute. And her with her little glasses on, just, I'm a big nerd. I love that. So it's worth it to me, but I can see where other people would definitely skip it on this one. And it's probably why there really aren't too many 
reviews out there on this one. Basically, I've seen a couple first impressions on it that just skipped past it really quickly. I think I see why that is now. It just bums me out and, you know, maybe they could rework the formula to have more scent. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But yeah, so those are my thoughts on this one. So as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. And you guys have this one. What did you think of it? Did you find the scent to be lacking? Or anything else if you like leaving me about it, leave it down below in the comments as well as just anything in general. And until next time, bye!